I'm William. This is the Wine Room and Putnam Market Upstate New York, Saratoga Springs. Now, just last week, the, the government authorities in the United States uh, approved certain techniques for wines which are going to be exported from the United States to other parts of the world. And amongst them are the four that I'm going to talk about over the next sequence of videos. And the first of them is nutrients. And these nutrients are added to the fermenting wine to keep the yeast, which are going to turn the grape sugars into alcohol, to keep them alive. Well, that's a bit of a surprise, you may be thinking. I thought it was really simple to make wine. You just took your mashed up grapes and waited for the yeast to turn the sugar into alcohol. But it's not quite as simple as that. You see, the grape isn't really anything to do with the life cycle of the fungus, which is the yeast. The, the grape has developed as a sort of seed delivery system for the vine. It, it's, it's, it's kind of like candy for the bird population. At no point is there anything in a grape which is going to allow it to keep a yeast population healthy. Specifically, what the yeast population will need are uh, nutrients like nitrogen, particularly, and some vitamins. Uh, and getting that right is part of the winemaker's task, because if there's not enough nitrogen in the fermenting must, then the wine will be horribly stinky. And if there's too much, there won't be any fruit in the wine at all. 